time no see it's Shania and welcome back to my channel um, I'm back with shorter hair um, so I hope you guys like it today's video is going to be about fantasy books that I really want to read so if you've been following my channel for a little bit you know that fantasy is a genre that I don't normally read I am not the biggest fantasy fan but I have been dipping my toes here and there into some books that I have really enjoyed that are a part of the fantasy genre. So I wanted to kind of compile a small list of books that I'm really interested in reading from the genre. So let me know if you have any recommendations yourself, if you've read any of the books that I'm going to mention and if they're any good. The first two books I'm going to talk about are ones that I have physically on me and the rest are ones that I do not own but I do plan on reading sometime in the near future. The first book is Stain by A.J. Howard. I know A.J. Howard is the author of the Splinter series which is I believe is like an Alice in Wonderland retelling or reimagining of some sort. I know this is their fantasy standalone. This book follows a princess named Lyra who basically is incapable of speaking or making any sound and because of this she's outcasted from her own kingdom by her very evil aunt. Um, she's outcasted to this forest where she is found by a witch who takes her in and disguises her as a young boy named Stain. While Lyra is outcasted, there is an imposter princess that is trying to take her place and cast evil and darkness across her kingdom and start a war. So it is up to Lyra or Stain to kind of go back to their kingdom and save it. And it sounds really, really good. I love just like the idea of princesses and princes and things like that. One of my favorite books is The Princess Bride and that is just classic fantasy. So if it gives me any type of princess or kingdom vibe, I know that I'm going to enjoy it. And I'm really excited to pick this up, especially since it's a standalone, so it's not something that I can get really, really invested in like a series, because fantasy series really do intimidate me. So I'm glad to have a standalone option. And it's really big, which um, is also a little bit intimidating. The second book I have here is a book that I showed off in my recent book haul and that is A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer. This book I believe is a Beauty and the Beast retelling and it follows Harper who is responsible for having to break some type of curse that has bestowed upon this kingdom's prince and it sounds really really good obviously it sounds like the plain old story of Beauty and the Beast which is one of my favorite Disney princess storylines and I'm really really excited to read it. Harper also has cerebral palsy so it's going to be really nice to get some disability rep in a YA fantasy novel. So overall I'm just really excited to read this and I know the final book in this series just came out because it is a trilogy so I'm really excited to eventually get to this one and then read the rest of the series because I do not have any doubts that I'm going to love this one. Alrighty now we are going to talk about a couple of older YA fantasy series. The first one I'm going to talk about is The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. I know this is a very old YA fantasy series. I saw this going around a lot in like 2014, 2015 and I see it a lot now on book talk not a lot of people like this book or like the series in general but i'm really interested in reading this it is a ya trilogy i believe and it follows a princess who flees her kingdom because she does not want to be betrothed so she flees her kingdom and there are two people that are trying to find her one is the prince that she is supposed to marry and the other is the assassin that is sent to kill her but the twist of this is neither i the reader or the main character knows which perspective is which. So while you're reading the book, you don't really know if you're reading from the perspective of the prince or the assassin. So that part just sounds really interesting because it's a mystery in and of itself. You have to figure out whose perspective you're really reading from. But again, this has to do with like princes and princesses and all that. So I obviously feel this is something that I'm going to really enjoy. If I don't love it, I think I will at least take something away from it at the very least. So Again, this is another series I'm very excited to read. The next series I have to talk about is the Poison Study series by Maria V. Schneider. This is a series I heard a lot about on Peru's Project's channel and Sasha's channel at A Book Utopia. They talked a lot about this series like when it first came out and they I think really enjoyed it. I believe it follows a young girl who becomes a taste tester in order to avoid prison time for some kind of crime she committed 
and when you are the taste tester for a prince obviously people try to poison you so it's kind of like a life or death job every single day and i think something happens where she can escape that said job and go on some sort of adventure i am not too aware obviously of all the mechanics of this novel but i am really excited to read it because i love the idea of being a taste tester i love any type of fantasy that has to do with kingdoms so again this is another one <laughs> that i feel like i'm really going to enjoy i feel like i'm going to say that for every novel but that is the truth the next book i have i believe is a duology the second book just came out and that is called a song below water by bethany c morrow this sounds really really interesting so it's about two best friends who are sirens and they have to keep their status that they are a siren a secret from everybody else and they both follow this very major influencer and it turns out that this influencer status is a siren and that becomes linked to the world and everybody finds out and that is very very dangerous because sirens are kind of a mythical creature that lures boys in to kill them so this just sounds really 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 good i feel like i'm gonna really enjoy this because i love sirens i love the idea of sirens especially like in a fantasy novel or some sort of like magical element i know that this book leans more on magical realism than it does fantasy but i do still see like a lot of fantastical aspects in it so i'm really really excited to get to it especially since it's a newer YA fantasy release and the sequel just came out and the cover for this is so beautiful so I just cannot wait to get to this one. The next book I have is I think the one that I'm anticipating reading the most and that is Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Byron. This is basically a black queer reimagining of Cinderella. It takes place many years after the original tale but this time young girls are kind of forced and required to go to a ball and find a suitor and if they don't they're never heard from again and we follow a young girl who would much rather marry her best friend Aaron than marry a prince they kind of have to figure out how to get out of the situation they're in and I know it has to do with a lot of badasses and ball gowns and it just sounds really really good I'm not the biggest fan of Cinderella the story just in general I really do like the grim retelling of it I like the grim tale of it I'm um, not the biggest fan of like the Disney version, but I do like this idea of this reimagining how it's kind of like a futuristic dystopian kind of thing, even though I'm not a big fan of dystopian, it just sounds really different and really innovative and I'm so stoked to get to this. This book just sounds fantastic, the cover is so pretty, and I am again very excited to read this. The next book is one I'm really excited for because it's like a historical fantasy and that is The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu and this follows Mozart's like less famous younger sister who was a very talented musician and it basically follows them when they're young and about this world that they created and reimagined called Kingdom of Back. It kind of follows that magical world that they created and it's loosely like historically based and historically accurate i'm not too sure about that but just the fact that it has to do with like mozart and classical music of any sort it just sounds so phenomenal and the story just sounds so unique and so different from anything that i've heard from before so i cannot wait to get to this one the next book i have is one that everybody has been just hyping up it sounds phenomenal i have not heard a single person not liked this book and that book is legend born by tracy dion this i believe is a dark academia fantasy about a young girl whose mother dies and she ends up joining a secret society at her school called the legendborns that kill mythical creatures and monsters that are on earth and she finds out that her mom's death might not be what she thought it was so she has to try to solve that it just sounds so epic i read the ravens by daniel page and cass morgan and that has to do with like a secret society of witches it's also kind of dark academia and i loved it so i have strong strong feeling that i'm going to love this one as well i have not heard a single bad thing about this and i believe it might be a series if i'm not mistaken so that just sounds phenomenal and again 
the cover is just beautiful with like her hands like with the magic it just looks so gorgeous so i cannot wait to read this we are almost finished we have three more books to talk about the first of which is cemetery boys by aiden thomas this is a queer latinx fantasy following cousins who try to help the ghost of the school bully find out like how he died and it's also like a romance and has a lot of paranormal aspects it's like a paranormal fantasy the paranormal aspects just really drew me in because i love anything that has to do with ghost stories so the fact that we have like the school bully who died but he has to try to figure out like how he died sounds really really good i am really looking forward to this i love that it has latinx representation i love that it has queer representation i love that it is so mainstream and people are really reading it and loving it i know this author came out with another book called lost in the woods which i think is a peter pan retelling nevertheless i'm really excited for this one in particular i know this was their debut novel so i cannot wait to read this i'm so excited second to last book i'm going to talk about is one that i am so excited for i do not think a lot of people have read this and i feel like if people have read this i'm not sure they liked it so much i don't care i'm reading this more because of how much like it just means to me because it just sounds so good and that is music of the night by angela c ford this is i don't know if you can tell from the cover but this is heavily inspired by the phantom of the opera and i adore the fan of the opera i mean the title of the book is music of the night so that should like let you know right away but i'm a huge fan of phantom of the opera i first watched it when i was in seventh grade because i was in band and i loved it so much i have watched it so many times since then i am in love with the story i'm in love with the music and everything about it so if i hear that anything is inspired by phantom of the opera i'm automatically gonna pick it up and the cover just looks super super dark and super beautiful i cannot wait i love how it's also a little bit of a remix on the classic story because there is a person of color on the cover and there are like no poc characters in the phantom of the opera the movie version at least and i'm just really excited that there is a lot more diversity as a part of the story and i am just so excited i heard that it's heavily heavily character and romance driven which I do not mind. Personally, I like uh, romance aspects in my novels. Contemporary is one of my favorite genres, one of my most read genres. So I love a good like romance aspect. And I cannot wait to get to this. I'm so scatterbrained right now because I cannot explain just how excited, how enthusiastic I am to read this novel and I will get my hands on it soon. I know Allie over at Allie with Books has read this and actually liked it and I do trust her opinion because she has not liked a lot of books that she has been reading this past year so the fact that she liked this one like gave it a four stars which I think is very solid I trust that I'm going to love this so I cannot wait. The final book I have to talk about is one that I think has very mixed opinions here on booktube but that is The Beautiful by Renee Adier. Uh, Renee Adier is the author of The Wrath of the Dawn and Flame of the Mist, two YA fantasy series and this one is her historical fantasy if you will about vampires. It is basically about a character who flees from her homeland and ends up in New Orleans in the 1800s and it's basically like a paranormal fantasy having to do with a secret society of vampires. I don't know how I feel too much about this one because I read Twilight many years ago, did not like it. I really did enjoy the movies, but I just wasn't a fan of the story. So it kind of turned me off to vampire stories because they are more mythical than say like a ghost or a spirit or an apparition so i don't know how i feel about this it just it sounds so good i saw it in the bookstore the other day and i almost picked it up i don't know something is just keeping me from from getting it because i'm not too sure how i'm gonna feel but nevertheless it's on this list because it is a book that i was anticipating it is a book that i do hope to read sometime soon i'm just not sure when i don't know you guys gotta let me know what you thought about it if you read it Alrighty, my friends that was every single fantasy book that i was looking forward to reading that i wanted to talk about thank you so much for watching this video please let me know if you've read any of these or if you have any 
fantasy recommendations yourself that you think I should check out, I would highly appreciate it. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. I will hopefully see you soon with another one. Mwah. Bye!